just want to talk to you again a little bit. Probably not going to give any Bible verses in this, but I would like to make a whole lot of videos on little different things about Calvinism and free will that we need to learn and understand. And I would like to make really good, detailed, edited videos and stuff in the future, but for now, I'm probably just going to make a lot of videos like this because it's easy. But I just want to talk about the fact that how Calvinism limits God, and probably in many ways, but I'm going to focus on one. Uh, I mean, Calvinism makes God to be a monster, okay? A liar, a mocker, all kinds of things. So there's so so much wrong about Calvinism, but I'm just saying that I just want I just want to share something that's interesting. And so Calvinists, they say that God foreknows all things. God knows the future. He foreknows things because he has foreordained them, okay? Because God predetermined everything. God knows everything because he predetermined everything, therefore that's how he knows everything's for certain, is because he's already determined it to be so, right? Uh, which is completely false. And, uh, and then, you know, on the other end of the spectrum, we have open theism, where they say that, you know, God, God only knows things as possibilities because, because, uh, because he hasn't preordained everything, and, and there's free will, so he doesn't know everything for certain. And uh, so they limit his omniscience there to where he really doesn't know the future, which is completely false, again. So the, the truth is, the biblical thing is that God does know all things for certain. He does foreknow everything. He knows the future, but he has not predetermined everything, okay? We don't need to limit God. God is outside of time. God is eternal. God does know all things, even though he hasn't predetermined all things. And people don't, and philosophically, people can't reconcile this, but it's what the scriptures say. That's all that matters. So we believe the scriptures, okay? The Bible clearly states that man has free will over and over again, that man must choose God to follow God, to serve God, to believe in him, to repent. So... So Calvinism limits God. They say he can't foreknow all things unless he has predetermined all things. And that is limiting God's ability, okay, to know all things. And, uh, let's see, it's, and, you know, we got to watch out for these false dichotomies or false dilemmas, illogical fallacy, like Jesse Morrell, the open theist, will use. He'll say, you know, like you're either you can either believe either either one of these. You can't believe, you know, what I just told you. You must believe Calvinism, which says that God predetermined all things, therefore He foreknows all things, or uh, God doesn't know all things as certainties because He hasn't predetermined all things. You know, that's a false dichotomy. You're either Calvinist or open theism. That's false. Okay, neither one of them are biblical. Neither one of them are right. Okay. God does foreknow all things. God has not predetermined all things. That's just the way that it is. Okay? Um, and, and, you know, Calvinism, they have a different definition for the sovereignty of God. Okay? You know, God, God's not sovereign unless he has predetermined everything. You know, sovereign's like God, you know, has ultimate control of everything. You know, which is true, but they make it to, to mean that God has determined all things. God must determine everything. It's like determinism, which I would like to explain more in the future. But, uh, you know, we got to watch out for these false dichotomies and equivocation where people, you know, they'll change the definitions of words and stuff. So when, Cal when Calvinists use sovereign, you know, you see all these reformed churches, uh, you know, sovereign grace church or whatever, they have a perverted interpretation of or definition of what sovereignty is, okay? Sovereignty doesn't mean that God determines all things. But he is in control of all things. He is ultimately, you know, in control. Uh, so, I just want to point that out, that uh, Calvinism limits God. They say he can't foreknow all things unless he has predetermined them, and that is limiting God. Yes, God does foreknow all things, and no, he does not determine all things. And say, well, that doesn't make sense, order. Well, that's what the Bible teaches, and that's what you have to deal with. Okay, God's mind is way above our mind, and uh, 
That's how it is. So thanks for watching. God bless. There will be more. Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.